Gamdius. Hmm. You might have not heard the name, but it's a company that manufactures gaming peripherals like keyboard, mice, and headsets. And today we are gonna check out this, the Zeus E1, a new budget gaming mouse in the lineup. But does it live up to the hype? Let's check it out. The Zeus E1 is priced at $2,000 and $40. At this price point, you can't expect any high-end gaming features, but this mouse offers some of it. So let's start with the physical overview. The design language of this mouse is great. It's ergonomically designed to fit any hand size and still provide comfort for long gaming sessions. From the front, it looks like a tank and from the back, there is a shallow slope to fit your hand perfectly. It's a bit bigger in size compared to some gaming mice on the market. Switching from my Logitech G300S, it felt odd when using it for the first time because I'm not used to ergonomic designs, but I quickly got used to it. Build quality is good as it is made of plastic polymer. I understand the use of plastic has to keep the mouse light in weight. On the both sides, there are textured rubber grips to provide comfort to thumb, ring and pinky finger. Left and right primary buttons provide great tactile feedback and here's what they sound like. They have a distinct and satisfying actuation all around. The scroll wheel is smooth when it comes to scrolling and the button requires less pressure to be pressed, but it isn't as loud and clicky as the primary left and right buttons. Just below the scroll wheel, there is a perfectly positioned DPI button where you can change the DPI from 1000 to 3200. To the left side, there are two buttons for extra controls at your fingertips. Unfortunately, they are a bit mushy and don't have the tactile feedback as the primary buttons. They are placed perfectly for my hand size, but it depends on everyone's comfort. The switches have a life cycle of 8 million clicks, which is okayish considering the price point. This mouse has a polling rate of 125Hz and weighs just 125 grams, which is great. The USB cable is 1.8 meter in length, which is more than sufficient if you have your PC further away from you. Now let's come to the aesthetics, which is the major selling point of this mouse. It has as Gamdias brags, double level multicolor lighting. It's great, but not that earth shattering. There are two RGB lines around the mouse. Some of the colors are bright and some aren't. It has a default breathing effect as switches into other colors. There is a Zeus logo on the wear which lights up in this rather unique yellow color. On the bottom, there is the optical sensor and three feet that provide smooth guiding capabilities. Now let's talk about my experience with this mouse. Using this mouse as a daily driver, my experience with it was great. There is a bit of mouse acceleration which was kinda unsatisfying for me when using it for the first time, but I got used to it in few days. Gaming experience on this mouse was amazing. Thanks to the well-made optical sensor, I was nailing accurate aim in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and Battlefield 1. It handled quick motions precisely and accurately. However, it did lose tracking at one point, but that was a very rare case. Now you might be thinking, this mouse is awesome, it looks great and it performs great, but doesn't come with any software. And that's where the major flaw is. Because unlike the Zeus M1 and P1 which are much more high-end, Zeus E1 doesn't support the Camdias' Hera gaming software. Which means you neither can play around with RGB effects, change the DPI settings, enable or disable mouse acceleration, nor you can program the two buttons on the side. Which according to me is the biggest downside. Because if you're paying 2000 rupees for it, you should at least be provided with a software where you can adjust the settings as per your desire. Also in the box, you will find a NYX E1 gaming mouse mat, which I'm not a fan of. It's made of high quality polymer material to give smooth surface, but the size is rather ungainly small. Not that eye-catching, certainly not a replacement if you already have a decent mouse mat. In conclusion, the Zeus E1 is great all around. I love the aesthetics and the comfort it provides with precision mousing. However, the no support for Hera gaming software and the small mouse mat just takes me away from it. But is it worth the price you're paying for? Probably and probably not. If you're fine with default settings, then yes. But I would also like to say that there are other gaming mice with similar features and a supported software. But they won't have dual RGB like Zeus E1. But it's fine for me. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you Gamdias India for sending us this amazing gaming mouse. Please like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And click here or here if you want to check out our previous videos. And I'll see you next time.